In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the array formula with the VLOOKUP function here in Google Sheets. So let's say you're using the VLOOKUP to extract some details from your data set. We have an example data set right here. We have the customer ID, the customer name, the region, and the total purchase. On the right side, you have the VLOOKUP formula and two examples where we can use the array formula with the VLOOKUP function to extract the same information right here. So we're going to do first a regular VLOOKUP function to extract some of these information from our data set. So let's go ahead and start with the VLOOKUP function. Go ahead and put in your equal sign, type in VLOOKUP or select it right here. Then for our search key, we're going to be basing it on the customer ID, which is located at the very left side of our data set, comma. Next would be our range. We are not going to be including our headers, comma. Then for our index, that would be the number of the column where we're going to be searching for the information that we want to extract. And that's going to be in column number two, comma, and a zero or false for an exact match. Close that up and press enter. There you have it. We have Derek Mitchell, which will match your customer ID 10091 right here. Now, if we try and copy that formula and put it right here, we will have the same thing. And there we have it. We have Matthew Homer 10784 and Craig West for 10637. Now for the total purchase, we're going to do the same thing. Equal sign. VLOOKUP, put in your search key, comma, your range, comma, your index. For this one, we have the total purchase column. So that's going to be the fourth column for our data set. That's four, comma, and again, a zero for an exact match. Press enter, and there you have it. Now let's accept the suggested autofill this time. And there we go. So that's how we usually do the VLOOKUP to extract this information right here. Now let's try and use the array formula where we can just input one formula to fill in the rest of our data. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put in our equal sign, type in array formula, then VLOOKUP and do the same thing. But this time what we're going to do is to add an array for our search key and for our index. So Put in your curly brackets right there. Those are search keys. Closing curly brackets, comma. Then our range would be the same, comma. And our index would be again in curly brackets. That's two indexes. So that's opening curly brackets. That's our second column right there for the customer name, comma. And our total purchase, which would be on the fourth column. So that's four. Closing curly bracket, comma, again, zero for an exact match. If we press enter, there we have it. We've filled the whole entire data with the help of the array formula. And we have the same outcome, even though we use the array formula right here in filling out our entire data. So in this example right here, I'm trying to extract the customer ID using the customer name as our search key. Now you already know in VLOOKUP, we can only extract data going to the right of our search key. So if we have our customer name right here, we won't be able to extract data from a column to the left or from a previous column. But with the help of the array formula, what we can do is to rearrange the order of our columns. So let me show you what I mean. Go ahead and start with your equal sign, your opening curly bracket, and then your first column, comma, where we can separate them through columns and this range right here, closing curly bracket and press enter. Now we have rearranged the order of our columns where our customer name comes first and our customer ID next. So now we can definitely use the VLOOKUP to extract the customer ID using the customer name as our search key. Let's go ahead and do that. Start your formula with the equal sign, type in VLOOKUP. There we go. Again, this is our search key right here, comma, and our range would be this one right here. So let me just select that. 
comma, our index would be in the second column, which is our customer ID, comma, and a zero for an exact match. If I press enter, there we have it. We also have our suggested autofill, which will tell us that these are the customer IDs for these customer names. So to use the array formula within our VLOOKUP function, what we're going to do is to delete this. There we go. Use our curly brackets to again select that range right there, comma, and that range right there. Closing curly brackets and press enter, it will still give us the same results. Even if we delete this, there you have it. So those were two examples on how you can use the array formula with the VLOOKUP function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.